Hello, welcome back. We're back welcome with album review. review. We got oh, a full yeah. house today. Full yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we got Zach with antlers, too. Yeah. Zach with antlers. <laughs> Let's go. So this week, we're re- revisiting Black Sabbath. This time, their third studio album, Master, Master of Reality. Reality. Yeah. So, Luke picked this. Yeah. If you want to watch our Paranoid Review, click the top right corner right now. Yeah. Let's go. Um, that was a banger album, but uh, Luke, do you have any context you'd like to give behind this one? So, this being their third album, they really started experimenting and changing the scene that is to become metal. This is where a lot of the cool shit that you hear about Sabbath comes from. Them yeah. down-tuning their guitars, them getting a little darker with the vocals, experimenting... And the first song that was drug related with with marijuana, mm. the first ever stoner metal song ever. Yeah, really. really? That uh, that's, that's what cool. started the stoner metal scene. That yeah. song. Nice. Like a whole genre was birthed because of one thing. Yeah. And it's all because of them. Ozzy's just a legend. It's yep. not even just Ozzy. The whole band. The whole cast. That is yeah. carries. I, I, the I band Sabbath. carries. Especially in this early era of Sabbath. Yep. Yeah. When they were still pioneering the hell out of metal. Because, like I mentioned before, it kind of was, it was sort of born with the Beatles song Helter Skelter, but like a couple years later, Sabbath would come onto the scene, they'd release Paranoid in their self-titled album, which we all love, and then this one came out, and it was more experimental. Mind-blowing. Like, this is a whole new fucking thing. Yeah, this is a, this is definitely, like, the, the first, like, big stoner album I can think of. Like, this one, I've, I've done all Black Sabbath's albums before. And I as I remember really enjoying this one, and my re-listen, I really liked it this time. Yeah, so like, I didn't listen to the one. This it, one it's a definitely years. like way more psychedelic than what Paranoid was. Yeah, again, a very much more experimental album than their previous like, ones. That they give me that vibe. So that was Sweet Leaf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I guess we'll yeah. jump into Sweet Leaf. Yeah, yeah. the first, first song to incorporate. A sample esque track in the beginning of somebody coughing. Oh yeah, the, uh, that was yeah. Like loud too. It was like louder than the yeah, song. It, it was yeah. way louder. Yeah. I think that was the intended effect. I turned it, it down, be... and then I was like, "Wait, now the song." Where's the song? Yeah. 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 So here's how iconic this song is. I coughed at a gig, and the drummer of this band I work for is like, "Was that Sweet Leaf?" And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no, I, was I was just coughing, bro. I was like, just coughing. Goes, that sounds like Sweet Leaf. I was like, yeah. "Oh, that's funny." <laughs> That song lives on in a lot of people's minds. It's I mean, also one of the most popular tracks off this album. I didn't know yes. that song, actually. Yeah, I didn't know it's, most of It's awesome, dude. Yeah. This is a bad yeah, It was an interesting You want to hear something that'll right blow right your mind about this song? Mm. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers would use the riff in this song in the outro of Give It Away. Oh, really? I don't know if you've ever noticed that before, but wow. it's the exact I'll same riff. I'll it. Sweet Leaf. Yeah, let's listen to that again. Yeah. Dude. Oh, it's that's a, cool. I gotta re-listen to that. Yeah. Really good start to the album. Yes. Very good. Yeah. After was, Forever. Song. This is After the second one. I like really After really Forever. That's yeah. another banger for me. This yeah. brings it down a tone. Yeah. And shows out for a moment. Mm-hmm. Just to relax. Just a little bit. And it's like the topic was crazy because this is the first Black Sabbath Black Sabbath album that I've listened to in full. Okay. And I only knew one song on this album, and somehow it was Orchid, which doesn't even have any lyrics. Orchid's the weird one. Song. The instrumental. Yeah, we'll get to but, that. Anyway. Yeah. But the song was like very talking about Christianity, and like a lot of yeah, people were, there's like, a lot of that in this album. A lot bashing, of people at the time were calling Christ. them Satanists and stuff, mm-hmm. and they all are like, no, we're, we were like, we've risen, we grew up Christian, like we still are, like we still yeah. believe, and all yeah. that. Yeah, and the whole song is just talking about that. Like it's crazy to wow. see. Just the idea of it alone is yeah. very intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is brought up in another track too later in the album. Yes. Very much. So. Really ironic that it came immediately after the song. Oh, completely about weed. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's Sabbath. But though. That's They're very funny. cheeky. Embryo, it's a 30 second instrumental that is supposed to be the beginning of so, Children uh, of the Grave. Okay. I wrote two notes for this. Yeah, um, what did you um, write? The, uh, I wrote one word, and it's why. <laughs> for, for Embryo? Yes. That's, it's the intro to Children of the Grave. Kind of, yeah. It's kind of a lead-in, but at the same time, it does seem like it's a little like, oh. It's just that's out just of like the... one take that they just like threw Yeah, it was like, random to me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Right. It didn't seem like totally finished. It was if, like a if that would have been in the intro of that's Children what, of the Grave. They could just combine them. I think like people wouldn't question it as much right. if that was right. Right. Well, yeah. it would have been... 45, it would have been 45 seconds. It's yeah. funny that it's five, called Embryo, 515, though. it's 545. It's yeah. funny that it's called Embryo, though, because it's so short. It's just like the 
very beginning of, yeah, I think of they children of the grave. Of the embryo same. growing into children. Yes. yes. Again, probably playing it that way. Yeah. Another banger. Probably the big so, hit off the album, Children of the Grave. There's three. There's three big ones. This, yeah. song this is one of my favorite songs yeah, on the That's album. the only song It's probably my personal album. favorite. It is a banger, I will say. Yeah. Either this or Sweet Leaf. Those are my two favorites. Oh, dude. But Instrumentals are fire as usual. Yeah. And We're the good. message is, like, positive. If you listen to the lyrics, yeah. it's crazy. Like, people would just hear it and be, at the time, like, it was very new for what it was. And people were probably like, oh, this is... This is sin. This is devil music. This is evil. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you're not listening satanic to anything that they're singing. Like, yeah. No, like, because people were so afraid of it. That's why they judged it so harshly. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. They didn't know it was just and a bunch their of kids. Image in their earlier albums was also a lot more like horror elements to it. Yeah. They were, so it was like, trying to spook the world. Yeah. And they did. They Even Led Zeppelin caught flack, though, because this came yeah. out the same year as Led Zeppelin 4, Led which Led had the same had Stairway to Heaven, stuff, yeah. which attracted yeah. a lot of people Queens. who were, like, claiming it was evil. Yeah. Because yeah. rock and roll's evil, you know how it goes. Yeah. Devil's music. Yeah. Yeah. It's the devil. This song also uh, just solidified my, uh, my likeness of Ozzy. I just Sad. Really like yeah. Yeah. Sad and Savage, too. Day. I have to keep forgetting to mention them. Because, yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, that, Ozzy's just, just, like, he takes a, over the song for me. He's I don't know. just such a household name at this it, point. And that's what I mean. Right? It's also because he had a very strong solo career, too. He is yeah, also, I that's will probably say, what it is. Actually. I, I yeah. like the, re- I love Sabbath, but Ozzy is what makes Sabbath for me. That's uh, what I'm saying. I always say, think yeah. that he was the most integral part of Black Sabbath, or at least, especially in the beginning. And not to say that, like, the rest of the band... Yeah, no, bad, everyone else sounds they are, they are They're really good. And I even think some of their later stuff without Ozzy is pretty good. But, yeah. like, when Dio was in the band, it wasn't Black it Sabbath was anymore. It was fucking Dio. Yeah. Dio like, and it, Black it was just a Dio album at that point. And, like, I think Black Sabbath is, is like... It was really... Black Sabbath when Ozzy was there. That's yeah. what I, that's what I mean. By the, I think I get what I think Eric you, is saying. No, you definitely. Yeah, like, I 100 get you. what Eric is trying I didn't to know how to explain it. That yeah. was a good explanation. Yeah. So what's after Children of the Grave? Orchid, Orchid. the two minute instrumental. The other the song I knew before this. Song. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's funny to me. But I really like the vibe of this. That's song. an obscure track off this album. It sounded today. pretty good. I liked yeah, it. It's it was, a nice. It was vibe. a nice vibe. Yeah. It's, it's a it's lot. Of, it's really satisfying because it was a lot of like resolve. Because it would mm-hmm. like go into I don't know minor chords and then it would there, go back. There's to a major, major key like, that yeah. stays in. Because every note ends. There's always a finish. Da, yeah. Da, da. There always has a finite ending to it. It's right. just a thing. It's not super static It's, it's a not sound crazy. That, it's just pleasing to your brain as a game. Yeah, right. like, yes. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, dude. Lord of this world, mid. This one's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not something I would yeah, listen to. I, yeah. That's funny because the first thing I said was, I do appreciate this music, but this song it just isn't for me. I mean, Sorry. I don't mind it. It's just a little slow. I thought it sounded cool, but... Yeah. I feel as though that if this wasn't meant to be a filler track and they were trying their games, they did They did a good job. Yeah. Like, it didn't I don't sound think bad. it's a filler think track. I think it was cool, like, at least the fact that he was, like, singing from the devil's perspective. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, that was interesting. But, yeah, I don't think it was bad. Yes. Then what's next? Solitude. Solitude. Which <laughs> Eric was listening to right before this. Yeah. And he did not have a good opinion I, of. Yeah, I didn't really have a good opinion. Uh, this one's on. okay. It was okay. It, like, I again, like it wasn't bad, but like, it was it's just, a lot slower. It is yeah. a, I, don't, um, I don't care for the slow yeah, It's again, just me. It's the, me. I think that was the other part of the experimentation, just something more slow. Yeah. I, 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 I is a lonely place it. that one hit hard. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It gives off Planet Caravan vibes, yeah. kind of. That was the one thing that... The I flute at the end of every line was an interesting touch, yeah. and it was in an interesting timing, too, because yeah. I could tell, like, it would always... The next measure would start a beat before I was expecting it to, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. The but odd time signatures throw people's ears off. It's like, wait, did I hear that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... That song, that's what helped start in another genre called Doom. Yeah, and Doom Metal. It's just super slow, methodical shit, just like that. Hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, this this was a game-changing album. There's, like, yeah. fucking three genres created from this. Well, yeah, I'm glad all, you picked those all <laughs> this album. And then there's the closing. Into, into, the into the Void! This is the third big one, man. Yeah. This is the really one. Cool. This is a cool one, but it's, again, one of my lesser favorites, personally. Yeah, it, the topic, it, it flowed so hard, that's all I have to say. The topic yeah. of the, um, 
like the, the people being in a rocket ship and they're going away from Earth. Yeah. And it's kind of like this weird. You're looking back on Earth and it's like, wow, this is morbid looking. This is weird. And it's like the physical or the actual literal meaning where he's saying like all the pollution that was coming from the rockets. Yeah. But then I think it's also saying like it people was, that are dying and like leaving the Earth are actually in a better spot than you are. Like yeah. You know, also, like Birmingham, living. where they lived, was a garbage ass fucking town and was like polluted as fuck. So well, shout out to Britain. <laughs> yeah, shout out to England. Fuck yes. They made great fucking musicians though. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> they produced, man. Ireland produced Hoser. Hoser. Uh, Completely I mean, unrelated, but sorry. yeah. <laughs> we just Eric and I saw him in concert the other night. Yeah, so and exactly. you too. Anytime, <laughs> anytime you can bring the Irish up when the British are involved, I'm okay with. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's only fair after all. Of that. <laughs> it's only fair. After all of that. Anyway, anyway, back the last, to the topic. What do we? What do we on here? We already are in the last. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. What do you think? What do you think, Luke? This <clears> was <throat> the pinnacle, the peak, the banger. This was a pretty good album, I'd say. Yeah, I man. personally like Paranoid better, though. I know people like this one better. But I think Paranoid's a better put together album, even though I don't know. I, I see what you mean. Very I, share the, me I share the same yeah, opinion, though. I, I also this one was more experimental. More. I feel yeah, that's like, how though. that gave me that vibe. I I also enjoy Paranoid a lot more. I just think well, Paranoid has way bigger hits on it. Oh so, yeah. But I think they're also just different. Um, yeah. This is a lot more al- alternative and like they're trying something different. Yeah. It was probably not very well received at the time, I would assume. Oh, and then yeah. they, they had more of an effect than I mean, you would I, From their core audience, um, though. The, yeah. the hardcore fans definitely flocked to it because it was a giant change. Because they went from tuning to a standard tuning, and then they completely just the down-tuned sound, the sound everything. got darker. It was, it was meant to sound more full. It was bigger mm-hmm. to the audience. So when they strummed the core live, it was like, what the fuck? Why is there 80 people, it sounds like, instead of... One dude playing one specific instrument. Yeah, it was just intense, and it was a totally different different atmosphere. Yeah, and it would go on to inspire thousands of different metal acts from hundreds of different subgenres of metal too. Yeah, and these guys are it, like it gets a starting deep. point, especially this album and Paranoid. Yeah, it gets really deep. Uh, but yeah, I'd say good album. Final yeah. thoughts from anyone else? Solid. No, I'm that. I liked it a lot. It was my. I think my first Black Sabbath album that I've listened to. In oh, album. cool, dude! That but I too, know actually. like some off of Paranoid, obviously the yeah. big ones. But yeah, this was, was a good first album. album. Yeah, yeah, very nice listen. But I would say go listen to Paranoid too. Yeah, I should do that. But yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah. Zach, yeah. so do you have anything final thoughts or? Um, I I like this album. I think they are definitely trying something different. I do like. Um, like I said, I like Paranoid more. Yeah. Um, but that seems like to be the general yeah. consensus yeah, now. General Everybody consensus. likes Paranoid. Man, why am I the odd one out? I do enjoy that. Because you just appreciate music differently. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I don't do enjoy yeah. the album, and I'm yeah, a big Sabbath like fan because yeah. I like this but album, and I like the next album, Volume Four comes oh, out. Oh, dude! Week. Volume Four is also Volume Four is another great album. And I'm not gonna lie, oh. I think I like Volume Four more than this one. Very good. Just a little, like, it's a little less good than Paranoid to me. It's not like they're far apart. Because I gave Paranoid a 9. Like, so, there are two very fantastic albums. I just like that one a little bit more. Dude, this is just peak. This Uh, is pinnacle. I was going to give it a 9. Whoa. Solid. Solid. Yeah, really good listen for me, yeah. Yeah. I like almost every song. I'm going to be honest, I I was going to probably give it, like, 7.5. I mean, that's still well, a, that's good a good rating. rating. That's yeah, that's good. fair, but explain your context behind it. I don't know. It, I mean, all of the songs were pretty good. It's just, um... Did you not understand the feel? I don't, I'm, it's hard for me to fucking comprehend things, so... <laughs> 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 it sounded good, but, like, yeah, it wasn't my favorite. You we weren't like, ready for it, though. Yeah, I mean, I listened to it, like, three or four times. So. Oh, okay, word. Yeah, so I at least learned okay. it enough to break down some notes. But yeah. That's the only way I'll remember the song from the notes, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, yeah, some I of them for me. I'm listening to it too, since it was only yeah, right. 34 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. yeah. It's a shorter album I, from what we're used to. I could give each song like enough time to yep. like I got oh, a good yeah. grasp of it. Truth. But yeah. yeah, it wasn't bad. 
solid. All right. So, Mr. Antlers, what, what, doing? what have you got for us today? I'm going to give us some weird shit this oh, week. God. Okay. <laughs> How weird? I already know there's going to be some people here who are not going to like this album. Uh-oh. I know that there's going to be people who do like this album. Okay. I really like this album. Have I listened to it before? Probably not. Okay. I don't that think anybody weird. here has heard of it. Maybe. But we're going to be listening to... Hold on. It's a long-ass fucking title. Oh, God. Jesus. Jesus. We've at least heard of or a group we've heard of. Uh, it's called Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical oh, Museum God. by Tally Hall. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. Why do I know that? I've heard of these guys. By before. Tally Hall. I've never it listened to them. It came out in 2005. Album. Yeah, I've heard of these guys. But tune in next week where we take a look at oh. this one. Yeah. I was going to pick this one for my last one, my last review, my last one I picked, but I did not. 